Hey guys! So, it's been a while. I feel weird. My voice might sound a little weird because I've actually had strep twice this month. Yeah, we've been having some issues. So you might be wondering, what is all of this? Well, actually you're probably not wondering because the title is probably giving it away. Quarantine got a little boring for me and I actually was sick a lot. Never had the coronavirus though. I'm pretty sure I got the flu once. I've had strep three times, two times this month, like I said before. But you guys don't care, I, I ramble way too much. Quarantine got a little boring and I kind of went excited with the shopping now you guys get a haul of everything I purchased all of this stuff is like a collective haul since like probably like January I did not buy this all at once I would be insanely broke if I did I mean I still am insanely broke so we're gonna start out with clothes because I think that's the favorite thing we're just gonna pull from the pile everything is like mix match so I'm filming a YouTube bit First, I got this adorable bathing suit. It's red and white, and I got this off a girl on Depop. It's from Fashion Nova. It has these buckle detail on the hips right here, and then matching on the top, it has a buckle that goes around the front. You'll see in the try-on haul. I'm not sure how I feel about the buckle on the top. I might cut it off, honestly. This is a definite love. Then I got some stuff from Zaffle and Shein. I honestly can't remember which, but I'll put it up on the screen. Um, this one says Zaffle on the tag, but I got this green bikini, which has this little like cinch detail on the waist. And then the top, it has straps to it that you can put on, but I made it a bandeau. This bikini, I've worn it once already. It just, I feel like it looks wrong on me. The bottoms, I feel like don't fit me right. It's still pretty cute. Next is this bathing suit. I do not recommend this. This is horrible. I got this off Shein. The bottoms are weirdly shaped. The top is also weirdly shaped and it's a weird material. I would just recommend not buying this. Next, oh my god, I love this. I got this bathing suit. Actually, this girl who lives in Jacksonville and she does like modeling and stuff here. She has no clue who I am, but um, I've seen her page a lot and she has a clothing company called Devoted to You, but it's like spelled weird, but this bikini is beautiful and now I want more because because this bikini is just the best thing I've ever worn. It's definitely my favorite bikini right now. I love this and it's such a beautiful color for summer. Okay, the next bikini I got, this one doesn't have a bottom. I just bought the top to it. I got this at a surf, no, not a surf shop, just like a beach store at the mall. Anyways, it's super cute. It's this purple and white pattern with like dots. I really love this and I love how their tops fit. I think these are such cute tops and they're not that expensive. I think it was like 35 or something like that, which is pretty good for a bikini. Okay, next I got this from Zaffle. Now, I have seen this on so many girls on Instagram. I was like, oh my god, that tie-dye bikini is so cute. The top is cute. The bottoms, however, are not for my body type. They just look terrible on me. For the price, it's good. You know what I mean? Because Zaffle is cheap, but it's still just, it doesn't fit me how I wanted it to. Okay, next is this bikini. Now, this bikini I also got from the surf store at the mall, along with the rhythm one that I bought. This one's cute. It has a really beautiful detail. This fabric is just amazing. The top is a little big on me, though. It's from Dib and Daisies. This was actually really cheap as well, I'm pretty sure, especially for how good quality these bathing suits are. Next, I got this at, I think it was Ross. It was one of those type of stores, Ross, Marshalls. It's high-waisted, which I normally don't go for either, but I found this there and was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they sold this brand. It was the only one there and it's called We Wore What? And on the website, I'm pretty sure these are like $100 bottoms. Their bathing suits are insanely expensive. And I found this there for, I think it was 25. It's super cute, I love it. And it comes with this really cute little buckle on it. So yeah. All right, this next one, you're gonna think I'm stupid. I got this from Zaffle or Shein, one of those. Um, I got it in a size large, but I tried to make the top work. I gave the bottoms to my mom, which I don't know what she's gonna wear bright orange bottoms with. I kind of can make the top work 
I might end up giving the top to my mom though because it's just, I'm a mess. I don't know why I did that. Okay, next is another bikini from Zaffler Shein. And this is another one where I really like the top, but the bottoms just weren't it for me. So it's like this like little ruffle, periwinkle color top. The bottoms will be cute. They just go up a weird length. I love the open sides with the straps. It's super adorable. It would be cute if it just was shorter in the front. I feel like this could look great on someone. It just doesn't look good on me. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the last bikini, so don't hate me, but it's like a one piece, and I think this could also go as a bodysuit. This just came out a little small. It's also the same fabric as that white bathing suit that I didn't like before. And it's just kind of awkward. Not really a favorite. I could have done without it, but what can you do? Okay, so yesterday was my birthday actually, and I just went to Urban to get a dress, but I got this really cute dress and it's a little puffed out on the front right here. It's this super adorable fabric. All right, next from Shein or Zaful, one of those again. I got a lot from there, so you're gonna hear that a lot, is this green top. I got this in a small and it ran a little big, but I absolutely am obsessed with this top i wear it so much with just some white shorts like this thing is so freaking cute i don't even have to wear a bra no bra and it's you can't tell i mean like free the nip 2020 but even if i'm not wearing a bra you can't tell and it's awesome because i hate wearing bras okay <laughs> this i had a different intention for this this was actually gonna be my birthday dress because i saw a dress like this off like tiger mist or something like that well it didn't turn out right it just is so awkward so yeah this was honestly a bad decision um we're gonna just pretend like i didn't buy this and we're gonna donate her <laughs> okay the next thing i got from pack sun but it's brandy melville and it's this little blue plaid skirt i have the same one in like orange and i think it's adorable so yeah okay also from brandy well this one's john gall i love big t-shirts and i have way too many but here we are um it says angel on the front and i love this font i'm obsessed with this font and then on the back it has angel wings like come on that is so cute i love this i seriously love that okay next i have this is from shein it's a grateful dead tie-dye shirt and i got this in like a large which I meant to get this one in a large so but it is so soft I probably would never wear this out because the material is honestly like nightgown material I really like this and I love wearing it to bed but the one complaint I have about it is this bear is horrifying that looks nothing like their bear but then the thing is that looks like their bear so I don't know why this bear is so scary but I think it was like ten dollars so you get what you pay for you know okay next this is for fall winter but I went to Plato's closet to get rid of some of my clothes and i found this there while i was waiting and it's this claiborne and oh, i think this is so cute like these cardigan things are just so in right now and has these big puffy sleeves and yeah i just really love this okay next my boyfriend actually got this for me from the thrift store but it's this really nice suede jacket it's pink and gray and this thing it feels brand new first of all and it is so soft i love this um and it's so adorable like this looks like something they would sell at brandy's i really love this so thank you connor Aww. okay next i got this workout top from like a beach store down the road from my work it is so cute it reminds me of that one painting starry night the colors and everything next i got these tank tops from target this is also that high neck style but i posted an instagram photo if you don't follow my instagram go follow it haha <laughs> and then i cropped this one i really like these next i also got this from shein this shirt is is such good quality the only complaint i have about it is i think one of the sleeves is smaller than the other one but it's still super good quality okay next are these shorts and they're a little bit wrinkly because i've already worn them and they're not washed yet so i am dirty it is so hard to find good shorts and these are just it there are these light wash shorts and i normally hate light wash but these so beautiful i got them from madewell so they're a little bit pricey but i think it was so worth it then i also got these shorts from paxon and these started out i think super cute but the leg just started ripping so much and now they kind of look awkward yeah i don't know what to do about it i mean i guess i'm still gonna wear them next i also found these at play-dohs 
they are Target brand. These long white pants. When fall comes around, these will be so amazing. Okay, guys, last clothing item. So, the last clothing item are these beautiful black cargo-ish pants from Brandy. Yeah, I can't wait to wear these for the winter. They are adorable. All right, moving on. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to miscellaneous items that I got. First things first, I got lights. As you can see, they're in the back here, but I also have some over here. I got two pairs, and it's a long story short, but basically Amazon lost my package, so then I ordered another one, and then they sent me my package again. So I got two pairs of lights for the price of one. Thanks, Amazon. Next, I got this hat from Altered State, which I never shopped there, so it was really weird for me to go in there, but I think it's so cute. It has this little rainbow on the front. I love hats to go to the beach in. The other hat I got was this one, and I wore it on my vacation, actually, and I took some photos in it, but then I hated them, so I deleted them. Now that I'm looking at it, I look really stupid. <laughs> but anyways, I like it, so I don't care if you don't like it. It has this cute tie in the back, and I'll show you. That was probably awkward. But yeah, that's that hat, and I really like that. Next, I also got this planner that is so cute it's from target and i just love how colorful it is like it makes me really happy and um, why am i saying um so much and yeah this is gonna keep me organized for the school year okay so next i got this straightener that is amazing it's so smooth and i got this at marshall's she is like a really good brand i heard they sell it at ulta or sephora one of those but it comes with this really cute little bag put your straightener in next i also got this clip and i'm just throwing this in because I got this from Zaffle or Shein and I think it's pretty cute. I'm probably doing this so wrong, but you get the point. Also, my boyfriend for my birthday got me this book and it's Chinese astrology and I'm really into astrology. I love learning about how it affects your body and what the stars mean for, you know, just your personality and other people's personalities. I just, I love that stuff, but I've never looked into Chinese astrology. So I also got for my birthday a skincare fridge from my grandma. Thank you, grandma. And I'm just going to show it in the overlay because it's already Already plugged in on the side of my room and I just don't want to pull it out and have everything get cold and have to let it recool again and whatever but it's super adorable and I also got these little eye mask things to go inside of it and then I also got at Sephora this brightening eye gel cream that also goes in the skincare fridge and hopefully it will brighten my eye circles up so I don't look so dead all the time also for my birthday I got to go pick out a birthday present from Sephora I got this Brazilian bum bum cream and Coca Cabana cream and they smell so good and then I also from Ulta got a free birthday gift and I got this NARS blush and I always love NARS packaging it's like that really soft plastic if you know what I'm talking about then you know what I'm talking about if you know you know next I got this jewelry holder this is only one piece of it there's two other pieces that look like this but they are little cubbies to put bracelets or earrings and I just thought this was amazing. I am just so excited about this. My Nana got this for me for my birthday. Thank you, Nana. This is actually from Amazon. So if you want to get it, I'll also link this down below. Two more things. I got shoes. I got these amazing platform pink corduroy blue vans. These are so amazing. And the second thing I got, guys, these Ugg slippers. I'm not kidding. I wear these everywhere. I'm obsessed with these slippers. They are so comfy and they're platform. You just will not see me not wearing these pretty much. Alrighty guys. Well, I think that is it for the haul. Comment if you think I have a shopping addiction or problem. I just like to hear feedback from you guys. I hope you guys liked everything. I'll try to link as many things as I can down below. If you did like this video, definitely leave a like. Go follow my Instagram if you haven't and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of of me and things that I like to do. Also, I love hearing things that you guys want to see in the comments. So let me know what you want to see. I have a few ideas planned for the future. Alrighty guys, I love you guys so much and see you next time. Bye. Now I have to put all of this away. It's probably just gonna sit on my chair for months, so, whoops. <laughs>